what you guys got another windows 10 update video here for you microsoft on june 2021 patch tuesday have released 20 vulnerability patches to patch uh, zero day exploits out there in the wild now microsoft have released 50 security fixes for software to resolve critical and important issues including zero day uh, which is a really nasty type of exploit that people are using now these releases and patches are released on the second tuesday of each month which is known as patch tuesday microsoft has fixed problems including remote code execution which is rce bugs and also we've got denial of service issues and privilege escalation and memory corruption uh, issues as well so all these have been patched now this is an ongoing process now five of these patches are considered to be critical and need to be done immediately uh, products impacted by the june security updates include microsoft office .NET core and visual studio uh, the edge browser windows cryptographic services and also sharepoint outlook and excel now last month there was 55 security flaws which four of those were deemed uh, critical and uh, these need to be kept updated so once you've run your windows 10 updates you will need to restart your pc once they're installed you can then go back into your settings update and security and then just check for updates to make sure you're fully updated and you're running the latest security updates on your system it's very important that you keep these updated so you're probably going to get a lot of people especially linux users saying why is there so many updates and security flaws in windows and that's because windows is much more used than linux linux only has a small uh, portion of the market share whereas uh, microsoft windows 10 has a massive market share which means they're going to go after the larger um, market share which is windows 10 so adobe patches for june 21 you can see they've released a bunch of patches as well and there's also microsoft patches for june 21 I'll leave the links for this site in the video description so you can have a read of this at your own leisure. But you can see here, it gives you a breakdown of exactly what has been patched and updated. Now, again, if you want to go into more detail here, there is links to all of the patches that they've released, which are linked in this uh, article here. You just click on them and it will take you to the Microsoft website where it will give you a full breakdown of what the actual patch is fixing you can see here this is platform remote code execution vulnerability and you can see it gives you a full list of how critical it is and gives you a full breakdown of the exploits and some of the facts there is all written in here and you can just click on the links and read these at your own leisure this is not everyone's cup of tea but i'll leave the links in there just in case you want to read them and you just click on these at your own leisure and read these if you want now also microsoft have released a full list of CVEs uh, released by Microsoft on June 2021. They do this every single time they do a patch Tuesday. It's broken down into columns. You can see severity, CVSS, public, and also exploited. It will tell you whether they've been exploited or not and what type it is. And you can see here, there is five critical ones in here and some very important ones. So it's always best to keep your system updated uh, because there is plenty of exploits out there and you really do need to keep your system updated, especially for software and for operating system. You can see there's even a vulnerability for Paint 3D remote code execution on there, that which is a vulnerability, and uh, that's been listed up there. It's quite a few. It's interesting to read through to see what actually uh, cyber criminals are using to exploit uh, Windows 10. Now you can check which version of Windows 10 you are running by typing Winvo in the search box. And this will give you the version which you're running and what operating system build that you're running. You can then head over to Microsoft's uh, website here, and this will tell you exactly uh, all about your Windows 10 version and whether there is any known issues for that version that you're running, which you can read up on here. So if you are having issues, you can read up on here. Now, this doesn't list all of the issues that some people have, and this is known to Microsoft. And you can check on the version that I've got here which is Windows 10 version 21 H1. And you can see known issues on here and it will give you the breakdown of it. Now, while you're on this page, you can check out the Windows 10 release information. And this will give you the information about the version of Windows 10 that you are running. This is very important because a lot of these versions will not be supported by uh, Microsoft anymore, especially if you're 
uh, using uh, these older versions here they will be end of service or end of life they will cease to support those anymore so it's always best to keep up to date and make sure that you're using one that is still getting uh, patched and security updates so if you're using a very old version of windows 10 it's time to update that version and because you're so far behind uh, you could end up when you update running into issues but it might be better to back up your data and reinstall uh, the latest version of windows 10 that way i see that quite a lot when people are using a really old version and they go to update and they end up uh, messing up their system because it's so far behind so bear that in mind when you're using a very old version of windows 10 and you're looking to update because your version is not supported anymore anyway a big shout out to all my youtube members who have joined my youtube members group appreciate the support my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching i'll see you again real soon bye for now Thank you.